Looking to protect your cards? Whether you need sleeves, deck boxes, binders, playmats, or even backpacks, Ultimate Guard has your collection covered. Literally. Premium products offering priceless protection. Visit ultimateguard.com. Hello and welcome to another Standard Games video. Today we're taking a look at a Naya Colored Brilliant Restoration combo deck as suggested by my supporters on Patreon. The 7 mana sorcery returns all artifact and enchantment cards from our graveyard to the battlefield. So Restoration synergizes quite nicely with the new prototype creatures from the Brothers War, which we can play at 3 mana in the case of Steel Seraph and Komot Thresher. Thresher is a 1-1 one -one double strike that draws a card when it enters, and Steel Seraph can be a 3 mana 3-3 three -three flyer that at the beginning of Komot gives one of our creatures Flying, Vigilance or a Lifelink until end of turn. So these can be played early on, if the opponent removes them, they end up in our graveyard, where we can bring them back with Restoration, and if we bring them back, they will come into play as their larger forms, so Steel Seraph a 6 mana 5-4 with the same abilities, and Thresher a 7 mana 3-3 three, three double strike that still draws a card. And then we also have four copies of Rust Goliath, the 10 mana 10-10 ten, ten with Reach and Trample, can also be cast for its prototype cost at 5 mana, as a 3-5 with Reach and Trample, not particularly exciting for today's standards, but we can easily discard it to then still bring it back with our Brilliant Restoration, and we can even do so with Bitter Reunion, which is kind of the cherry on top in this deck, the 2 mana enchantment when it enters lets us discard a card to draw 2, and then for 1 mana can be sacrificed to give our creatures haste until an turn, so the reunion being an enchantment can also be brought back with restoration, so we can easily play it early on, maybe even sacrifice it at some point to give one of our creatures haste, especially nice with the reflection of Kiki Jiki, so we can immediately copy a creature, or maybe to give our shaman token haste so it can attack and make a treasure token, since our deck can be quite mana hungry. And then if Reunion ends up in our graveyard, we can bring it back with Restoration. And then if we have one leftover mana, we can sacrifice it to give the team haste and potentially kill the opponent out of nowhere, especially effective if we have multiple copies of Rust Goliath attacking for 10 each. And then uh, looking at the rest of our deck, we also have two copies of Twin Shot Sniper, which can be channeled early on to deal two damage to any target. And because it's a channel ability, this also gets around a Thalia tanks, for instance, and becomes much harder for blue decks to counter with counter spells. And then as an artifact creature, we can also bring it back with our Brilliant Restoration, so it's quite synergistic in our deck. It can also be copied with a reflection of Kiki Jiki, so we can repeatedly deal two damage, so it has a lot going for it. And then we're also playing four copies of Cathartic Pyre, which can deal three damage to a creature or planeswalker early on, but we can also use it to discard up to two cards and then draw that many, so it can be a nice discard outlet for Rust Goliath and the other prototype creatures to dig towards our Brilliant Restoration. And then at 4 mana we're playing the full set of big score, which can uh, discard a card to draw 2 and makes 2 treasure tokens. So another great way to ramp towards our restoration, since that's quite expensive at 7 mana. Also quadruple white, which is not the easiest on the mana base, but we're keeping the green splash to a minimum. Just have 4 copies of Jetmere's Garden, which we're happy to play as a red-white dual land anyways. And then we have 2 farmlands and 2 rockfall veil, on the off chance that we want to hard cast Goliath for its prototype cost. Otherwise the deck is mainly red-white so we can still cast an early Brotherhood's End, which is a nice catch-up mechanism against aggressive decks to deal 3 damage to each creature and each Planeswalker, sometimes can also be used to blow up artifacts, and then we still have enough white mana to support the quadruple white restoration. And yeah, that covers most of it. Of course, Fable of the Mirror Breaker, another cornerstone of this deck, as it can help us discard our prototype creatures to set up our restoration and find it in the first place. Can also make great use of the reunion to give our various creatures haste, and also synergizes quite well with a Steel Seraph, as we can maybe give our Shaman token flying so the opponent won't be able to block it, so we can keep generating extra treasures. So a ton of synergies you can find with it. Also, the turn we give our team haste with reunion. If we reanimate everything, we can maybe even copy a Rust Goliath with a reflection of of Kiki Jiki to make sure we can attack for lethal, so a great card in this deck. And then a mana base, we've already mentioned most of it, we've got a ton of dual lands since we need to support double reds and quadruple white, so we've got all the red white dual lands with Sundown Pass and Battlefield Forge, couple basics, three planes, three mountain, and then Iganjo and the Crucible can also be channeled for additional interaction. So that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the play, hand seems promising. Albeit a little slow. Double Pyre can help with early aggression. And then Big Score helps us dig pretty deep. And I'll just hard cast a Thresher. Fine if it gets removed. And 
that's what you call a two for one. We still get to draw a card. And pass will help us cast big score next turn. Celestus, but it's ramping. And I guess we'll keep it daytime by main phasing big score. Pyre can go. Brotherhood's end could also destroy the Celestas, but that's also going to deal with our treasure tokens. Bankbuster. I guess we could also destroy with Brotherhood's end. So it may be worth it to actually cast it here. So we can play Fable and Brotherhood's end. Or we could big score. Well, let's get the Fable going. Next turn, discard double Pyre, maybe, or a Twin Shot Sniper. Although it could be fun to copy with Reflection. Goliath, we don't mind discarding. So I'll hang on to Twin Shot Sniper for the time being. And we can cast another Thresher. Okay. Thresher also good combo with Reflection of Kiki Jiki. Adversary can replay a Lightning Strike. Good Cathartic Pyre to kill Adversary. I guess they can also go for Explosion to make an extra Power Stone. Another Fable. So we can uh, big score and fable. Maybe start with big score discarding sniper. Could also discard a land and then if we draw land we can still fable even if we don't with uh, treasures we can still do it and keep sniper to go with reflection. And uh, yeah I'll play fable. Just trying to buy time until we find restoration and hopefully set up a one-hit KO. Opponent's got the Rune Sweeper, deals with our creatures, and a Bank Buster. Right, a reunion will be helpful to eventually give the team haste. So it doesn't seem like Sniper's going to be all that useful. Maybe Fable can go as well, or just discard reunion instead of trying to cast it. And then we can Thresher plus Fable. Seven mana Thresher was also an option. Although it still dies to most removal the opponent could be playing here. Alright, pass it back. If they play another Brotherhood's End, we still at least get to keep our Reflection of Kiki Jiki. And we get to dig a little bit deeper for Restoration. Six mana. And another of Bolts, which exiles, so that's a bit of a drawback here. A Lightning Strike or Shaman. And discard two lands. There's Restoration, and that should be pretty powerful here. Still have leftover mana to give our team haste. Target our opponents, draw a bunch of cards, and our opponent explodes. Awesome, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and seems promising. Reunion early on to discard Goliath, Brotherhood's end to catch us back up against aggressive decks. And then we'll need to draw into a few more prototype creatures to discard, eventually find restoration. So, not the most exciting hand so far. Up against blue-white, so hopefully it's a soldier's deck where we can make use of our Brotherhood's end. Farm hands points towards maybe a flicker deck. Reunion can discard a land here. Okay. And I'll probably sacrifice a reunion just to put it in the graveyard. Can hardcast a twin shot sniper next turn if we'd like. 
Although there's probably better ways to spend our mana. There's Restoration. Alright, so we've got something to work towards. So, probably like Reunion, maybe discard Brotherhood's End, since it doesn't seem like we're gonna need it. And then Goliath we could also discard with Cathartic Pyre, alongside Combat Thresher. Opponent is playing blue, so counterspells are certainly a concern. And ideally we can Restoration and still have leftover mana to give the team haste, so we would really like to generate some treasure tokens here. For now, we'll Pyre. Could also discard Sniper and then Hardcast Thresher to draw, since I'm not too afraid of the 1-1s one here. And there's Fable, also a good one. So we can try and resolve that. And we could also give the Shaman token haste, for what it's worth. Putin might have Faithful Mending to then bring back something scary from their graveyard. With an Invoke Justice, for instance. But yeah, if I give the Shaman haste, it's not like I can still cast a Thresher afterwards. But uh, we'll maybe give us more mana to leverage Restoration in the future. So it seems fine. Could also channel if they try and double block. But our opponent takes it. Okay, so next turn I could cast a Restoration, although it's without haste. Wedding announcement's fine. As long as our opponent plays a mid-range game, we can go over the top. But of course, counter spells are a concern. Steel Seraph could give our Shaman flying. So how about we just discard a Twinshot Sniper and this turn cast Steel Seraph and Thresher and kind of hope there's a board wipe and then Restoration with an extra mana could kill them. Could also double Thresher now. But let's start with a Steel Seraph to give our Shaman flying. Giving the Steel Seraph haste is also an option, but I don't think it's necessary. So we'll fly over, hit for two, make a treasure, and play Thresher. Now opponent could be packing Farewell, which would be quite effective here at clearing our graveyard as well. So hopefully that's not the case. Typically don't see Wedding Announcement and Farewell in the same decks, and yeah, we managed to bait out a Make Disappear, so that's perfect. Could still pay for it, but I'll decline since we could use our treasures for restoration. And then, yeah, hope they tap out and next turn we could get them. Banishing Slash deals with our Shaman, that's totally fine. Still four mana left. Wedding Announcement triggers. So our opponent's still hanging on to four mana. Could mean they have a Wandering Emperor they flash in. Or they could have another Make Disappear for restoration. And if they sacrifice a creature, we won't be able to pay for it. So I think we play a more passive game here to make sure Restoration resolves. Play a Thresher, we can give the team haste, copy Thresher with Reflection, draw more cards. And force their hands. That works. And then I can go for Vigilance to play around Wandering Emperor, although they can exile the Reflection too now. I guess we'll keep the Author Thresher back as something valuable to copy. Okay, so far so good. Do we see an Emperor end of turn? We do. Gonna exile Reflection. Still got our value. And then now still Seraph threatens to take out Wandering Emperor. How much mana do we have total here? Seven. So we're getting close to resolving Restoration through Make Disappear with Casualty. Not quite there yet. Brotherhood's End. That's quite effective. Wipe the board including Wandering Emperor. So if I Brotherhood's End opponents wouldn't be able to counter it unless they have a negate. So I could try it here and see if there's a response. Otherwise Steel Seraph kills Emperor and we can maybe bait out some other removal spell. 
So yeah, I guess we'll just move to combats, give vigilance, attack Emperor, and see what's up. And then next turn I could Restoration through a Make Disappear. So no need to do anything else now. Opponent cycles Rufine's Tower. Companion to draw. And Companion attacks. Yeah, let's block with Seraph, and then if we can bait out a Wandering Emperor to put a counter on it, I'm pretty happy. Doesn't seem like they had an instant there. Okay, well, I think it's time for Restoration, or we could try Brotherhood's End and see how that goes. And then next turn Restoration can pay for Make Disappear with Casualty. It's going to be more difficult for the opponent to sacrifice a creature in the first place for Casualty. And then I can also still pay the one for haste. So I guess it doesn't hurt to attack first. Although if they counter this with like a negate, I guess uh, I would rather keep Thresher on defense. That works. So now I still cannot resolve restoration since they can make disappear and make me pay two. Okay, Urza, Lord Protector, shows up. I have not seen Mightstone and Weakstone yet. Backup Restoration. All right, so now we can go for it. And there should be plenty of stuff in the graveyard to get back. There we go. Give our team haste. <laughs> and our opponent explodes. Awesome. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. Hand seems keepable. Turn to Reunion. Discards Goliath. And hopefully hit our land drops for Fable on three. Bone and mono black. Hopefully no graveyard trespasser to exile or Goliath. Bone and passes, so they must have a bunch of spot removal in hand. So the shaman tokens unlikely to survive, but still happy to get Fable going. Next turn discard maybe sniper plus pyre, and keep ramping with big score. Turn 4 could see Shieldreds. We don't. That's good since we're about to draw quite a few cards. So discard Sniper and Pyre. Sniper plus Pyre would have been an answer to Shieldred as well for what it's worth. But it doesn't seem like they have one. And there's Restoration, so we'll pass with big score available. And probably discarding a Reunion. They could have a counter spell too. That resolves. So we can maybe wait and set up a bigger restoration. This turn big score again, main phase maybe to hit my land drop, discarding Thresher, which we can also bring back. And then I'll be able to maybe play restoration and give the team haste right away. Go for the throat, kills reflection, that's fine. Another option was to play Thresher as a creature, with a plan of giving Reflection Haste to copy Thresher. But uh, that was unlikely to work in the face of spot removal. So we'll pass. Still nothing from our opponents, so... Yeah, I'm not sure what to do here. I guess we'll untap first. Could wait a little bit more on Restoration to make sure it's lethal if it resolves. And for now, we can keep improving our board with Fable, plus maybe a big score as well. Memory Deluge, so your opponent goes digging. I guess in response we can big score. And discard another Reunion, perhaps. Okay, and then hope our opponent taps out of their blue mana so we don't need to fear any counter spells. No removal on the shaman end of turn. And we get to untap. I'll discard a land plus pyre. 
and now we've got a backup restoration so even if it gets countered we have a backup so I feel okay going for it now that resolves sniper goes face and then we can give our team hastes. Opponent may be able to take out our Goliath. But that's fine by me. Okay. Don't think I need to play anything else out. It's going to be a Vortex to bounce Goliath. That's fine. Still get to attack for a healthy amount. And we've got a ton of cards in hand still. A couple more treasures. So, not sure how our opponent gets out of this. Has to start with a sweeper effect. Not aware of any instant kill combos in standard that they could set up. But, uh, I'll pass for now. Alright, malfunction to wipe the board. I guess that's step one. Although only deals with the shamans. And underdog is not going to be good enough here. A lot of ways we can deal with it. And copying twin shot sniper is one of them. So I can play twin shot sniper. Kill underdog, give the team haste, reflection, copy sniper again if we'd like, or could copy thresher onto the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and this seems like a keeper. Pyre and Brotherhood's end for early interaction, fable to keep digging. Facing red aggro, so happy to have our removal. Can play our trial land tapped. So best case scenario, opponent plays bunch of cheap creatures into our Brotherhood's end. Ancestral Anger for now. And it tapped Xander's Lounge, so Grixis. Okay, pass it back. And then ideally I guess we can just play Fable on three instead of having to play Brotherhood's end. We'll wait and see if our opponent presents more creatures for us. Swiss Spear attacks. I'll take the one. Wait on Pyre in case they play a more valuable creature next. Right, Lightning Strike face, now I'll Pyre before the Prowess Trigger resolves in case they had another one mana instant. And then we can go for Fable. Next turn big score, so we're ramping nicely. Just need to find Restoration and some prototype creatures to discard. Bolt, Exiles or Shaman. At least the fact that they exile the Shaman as opposed to a prototype creature is good. And then, yeah, I might just discard double Brotherhood's end here. Doesn't seem like we'll need them. And then big score over another Fable, I think. Can discard either Pyre or Sniper. Lightning Strike face, I guess we'll big score in case our opponent's playing counter spells. Yeah, I guess Sniper can go, even though it could be nice with Reflection of Kiki Jiki. Can still Pyre to deal 3 damage at instant speed if needed. And then now can play another Fable and still big score. But has got 2 cards in hand, we're at 10. So yeah, don't hate our chances. Although for opponent plays something like a Hottie Djinn with quite a few spells in the graveyard. That could be a significant threat. Alright, let's big score, discarding Pyre. Take our draw step. And discard Pyre plus one Fable can go at this point. Okay, Goliath, we're happy to discard. So could copy Shaman attack. Pretty close to casting a 10 mana Goliath as well. So we have options. Could also play a second Fable and then copy the Summoning Six Shaman 
So it's not as bad if they have spot removal for it. So hit for four, make two treasures. And then we're gonna see a bunch more cards here between this and our next draw step. And I guess I need to count my mana since I may end up just casting a Goliath and copying it with Reflection. Six, yeah, we could do it next turn already. Swift Spear is fine. Ancestral Anger for Trample, okay. Could be dangerous. Maybe should have cast Big Score in response to try and find another Cathartic Pyre, but we've seen a few already. So not very likely. Swiss Spear attacks. I think I'll chump just to be safe. Don't want to die to a couple more burn spells. Still tramples for two. And Iconoclast can make 1-1 one, one tokens. So they must have drawn that off Ancestral Anger. So if I big score discarding Garden, then next turn I can cast Goliath and potentially copy it. So let's try that. Land is good, so should have the mana for it now. Okay. So did not find our Restoration, but uh, our alternate win condition here, Goliath with haste. Smash. If we had a reunion in play, we would have been able to give the entire team haste. But we'll see if our opponent can deal the last couple points. Swiss Spear, one card in hand. So on the board we're fine. And we've got a pretty large blocker back, so they'll need a couple more cantrips like Ancestral Anger to pose a threat. And our opponent explodes. Awesome. The Iron Giant gets it done. Okay, we're on the play. And our hand does need to find a few more prototype creatures. But at least we already have our restoration, so that's taken care of. Fable, so yeah, we'll discard a Thresher since we have Fable to play on three. I might end up discarding a Restoration, although opponent's playing blue, so we might need a second in case of a counter spell. Warplow, 1-1 one, one Death Touch. Happy to play Fable. And then a Reunion could eventually give our Reflection of Kiki Jiki haste as well, so it can copy something right away. Take one. And a Flash Gorger, so opponent's also playing a few prototype creatures, could be a reanimator deck, or they might have some other way of flickering them to transform them in their bigger variants. What to discard with Fable. So I don't think they're necessarily going to be packing too many counter spells, so maybe one Restoration can go, even though it gives away what we're trying to set up. And then I guess we could attack with a Shaman into Flash Gorger to then finish it off with a Sniper. Or I can just kill it with Pyre and attack. That's maybe a cleaner solution. So we'll hang on to that. And then discard another Reunion. Or I can just discard Sniper and Reunion. And we'll have plenty of other opportunities to discard the second Restoration later. Okay, so we'll kill Flesh Gorger and attack. And then next turn I might give the team haste to copy our Shaman once again. Take one. And another Flesh Gorger I can kill end of turn. Ooh, Rust Goliath. That's something we would like to discard, given the chance. For now, just make extra treasure by copying our Shaman. Could also hard cast Rust Goliath. Although I don't think I want to give up all my treasures to do so. 
I would have one treasure left, so then I'm unable to cast Restoration. So we'll wait. Next turn I can Restoration and have a leftover mana to give the team haste with Reunion. And there's a Respite, so opponents indeed trying to flicker their prototype creatures. Brotherhood's End's not bad, although I think we're just setting up Restoration here. Get back double Reunion. Sniper can kill a 1-1, one -one and our opponent already concedes. Wasn't the most backbreaking Restoration, but still we were going to see a ton of cards. Discard Goliath to then get it back with a second Restoration next turn. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and uh, we definitely need a third land, but on the draw we should be able to find one in time. And then Brotherhood sends a good catch-up mechanism in case we're up against an aggressive deck. And if our opponent's a slower deck, we'll have time to set up our restoration. So opponent blue-white could point towards control, in which case hard casting Thresher on three is not bad. Fable unlikely to resolve, I would say, so let's bait with a Thresher, which they still probably don't want us to have as a creature that draws a card. That resolved, so maybe opponent doesn't have a counter or they're being patient thirst, okay, so could be a reanimator deck as well here, discarding expensive artifacts like a leveler to then bring back. Didn't really have an answer to that at the moment, so we'll just have to go over the top ourselves with the restoration. And then for now, play Fable to get that going. Could still big score, which is more mana efficient, although I don't really have anything I'm happy to discard. Maybe Brotherhood's End is not going to be useful, but we're not setting up Restoration with it. If our opponent brings back their 8-8 next turn, it's not like I'll have an easy time attacking into it. Alright, so we'll uh, go for big score then. Opponent cast a Thirst. Two lands discarded. So can they bring back a leveler? Doesn't look like it, so discard Brotherhood's end. And hopefully pick up some Goliaths and Reunion would also be important to give the team haste so we don't expose it to sorcery speed removal. Opponent's got a Wandering Emperor. Can exile Thresher. So that's not coming back from the graveyard sadly. But there's a Goliath. And a Steel Seraph. So now we could double spell Fable plus another big score, discarding Goliath, or could hard cast Seraph. Playing Seraph next turn for the surprise factor could also be worthwhile. If our opponent brings back Leveler, we can finish off a Wandering Emperor, for instance, by giving our Shaman token flying. So, close call. Definitely playing Fable, so I guess we'll start there. And then... Yeah, I guess we'll go for big score, discarding Goliath instead. Alternative was channeling Crucible to kill Emperor. Didn't think that was necessary. Opponent caches an Emperor to make a Samurai. And invoke Justice, so the Samurai picks up some plus one counters. I guess we'll big score in response in case we want to try and finish off the Samurai with uh, two or three damage. We cannot. So there's Leveler. Can still give our Shaman flying with a Seraph. And there's Reunion, that's important to give the team haste. So I'll keep Seraph to hard casts. And I don't mind casting Reunion, so we can discard a couple lands here. Another Goliath, okay. So we are starting to set up a lethal attack, perhaps. So, Seraph for three mana. Let them focus on killing the Seraph with a Leveler, for instance. Give this flying. And then Reunion, discard Goliath. And 
and there's our twin shots. And then if I play Fable, do I have enough mana to still cast Restoration next turn and give the team haste? Looks like it. And that can discard Reunion and Sniper as well. Okay, so we're setting up for a powerful turn. Let's see if our opponent has anything to say about it. Celestus, that's fine. Opponent attacks, they can take out Steel Seraph, which plays into our restoration game plan. Now another Wandering Emperor to exile a Goliath could be problematic, but uh, we'll deal with it as it happens. Could also give Goliath Vigilance with Steel Seraph to play around it a little bit. Alright, let's untap. Discard Sniper Reunion. And hope there's no counter spells. A restoration. Can also use our power stone to activate reunion. So that can go upstairs. give our team haste. And then I could copy a Rust Goliath with Reflection as well. Okay. Move to combats. And then even if they have a Wandering Emperor for a Goliath, I think we still have enough. Give Goliath Vigilance. And attack. Two treasures still lets us channel Sniper as well, and our opponent explodes. Awesome! Opponent brings back Cityscape Leveler, we bring back Double Goliath, so it's only fair. Okay, so we got to see our brilliant Restoration deck in action, and yeah, it's pretty satisfying if you can pull it off. Of course, it's pretty slow to get to that point, and especially in the ranked ladder, you're gonna face a ton of challenges, all the way from Soldier Tribal with an early Thalia disrupting you, you've got the Graveyard Trespasser out of the Black Midrange decks exiling your graveyard, and then a card like Shieldred, if it lands, can also be problematic, since our deck tends to draw a lot of cards, which uh, Shieldred is very good at punishing, and then the Mono Blue Haughty Jin deck will have plenty of counter spells for Restoration, so that's usually a pretty bad matchup as well. So I don't recommend this deck for the ranked ladder. Aggressive red decks can also usually kill you before you can set up. So there's not a lot of great matchups out there, but in the regular play queue you can usually pull off the combo and win the game. So that's going to do it for today's gameplay. I want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd. Thank you.